Voter fraud is real. Do you want proof? According to a report released by Judicial Watch, 353 counties in the United States are reporting more registered voters than eligible voting age citizens. They have found 1.8 million more registered voters than the legally allowed citizens. Moreover, according to the nonprofit government watchdog, eight states including Alaska, Colorado, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Vermont were found to have state statewide registered voter totals exceeded 100% of eligible voters. This report should alarm anyone who is concerned about the outcome of the presidential election, which will happen in two weeks. Judicial Watch warns that the number of illegal registered voters may be larger because they have only researched 37 states. Studies and reports like these are why the Republicans and President Trump are saying that voting by mail could lead to fraud. President Trump had voiced his concern during the first presidential debate about the problems of voting by mail. A New York man was charged for requesting mail-in ballots for his dead mother. A U.S. Postal Service employee is out of job after 100 absentee ballots were found in a dumpster in Kentucky. Two Pennsylvania postal workers were federally charged for throwing away mails. In New Jersey, dozens of blank ballots were found in trash. A Texas mayoral candidate, Zul Mirza Muhammad, was arrested on 109 counts of mail-in voter fraud and many more reports are coming out every day about the trouble of mail-in voting. We need ID to purchase alcohol, cigarettes, rent a hotel room, buy a cell phone, apply for a fishing license to open a bank account. But strangely, we don't need an ID to vote. It's long overdue that requiring an ID should be mandatory to vote.